Jessica and Maurice. Oh, this one made me smile. We'll get started. Let's go. Happy wedding. My wife's there. So Jessica's dad comes to the crib where all of Maurice's family is at. I told you I was ready for this, for these two families to meet because meet and, and see this union because these are two different worlds coming together. Hmm. This is this one, this is that one, that's my mom, that's my auntie, that's my cavalry friend. Then you have a little chat with you? Yeah, let's step out there. Okay, that was a little awkward, but I also don't know if that's editing, but whatever. This is the first time they're meeting. That's actually very interesting as well because these people are married, they married in prison, but I guess he wasn't out yet, so there was no point in really meeting the family or anything like that. So this is the first time. Very interesting. Okay, we ready for the day. See, yes, we are. We are ready. This is the way to do it. I'm glad to see them both have this moment. You ready for this? Yes, I am. Sit down. Oh, look at Jessica. Wow. I, whew, she looks great. That is killing me. And she's very pregnant. And she's in very high heels. So she got to sit down. Here comes the sister, the one who hasn't spoken to her in what four and a half years because she was dating Maurice and didn't want her to be a bad influence on her niece, seeing yo auntie just got into a relationship with an inmate. And he black too. Anyway. Yes. Aw, don't they look alike? How cute they're all together. So can everybody step outside so that we can have a minute and then all I see them do is like ruffle with her bow tie at the back of her <laughs> dress and then that's it. But you know, I hope they have some very meaningful and deep conversations because four and a half years is a long, long periodically time. I really hope that they come together for real. If you're able to come to the wedding, that means it, there's no reason why you should distance yourself at this point. Like, just be kumbaya. I'm so happy. <laughs> and then Ish hits the fan because the groom is sitting in a car with no gas in it. Who? Who? Wow, okay. Hey, note to self. If I'm going somewhere important and I'm sitting in somebody's car, make sure they have gas. Ask them. I don't care. I need to be there on time. Hmm. Because that was ridiculous on his wedding day, like to not have enough gas. Who thought of that? That was a rid ridiculous. <laughs> they do tell her, but the, the friend runs off and gets some. And this guy smoking, about to make this guy smell of cigarette. Oh my goodness. Okay. Aww. Beautiful. Oh, okay. So that's the suit. I like the detail of the bow tie and the oh everything. The, is that the? Mm, yes, it's nice. Are you sure you're ready for this? But then on the dad, I feel like it kind of, it kind of looks like a PIMP suit. You know? Do you know the vibes that I'm getting? Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to get at? Yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. But hey ho, he's there, he's happy, he's smiling, and he's really happy to walk his daughter down the aisle. So this is so cute. Yep. <laughs> you ready, Chris? I'm ready. Chris? My mother and I do. If anyone here has reason these two should not be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. Why do they keep that party? Like, why do they keep that party? Maybe the sister just came to say, I do. I never liked the guy. And also, why did she marry somebody out of prison? And that's not a good influence on everybody in our very, very normal and straight family. We don't get into stuff like this. Yada, yada, yada. Like, her sister could have gone off. But she didn't, obviously. But I just don't know why people still keep that part in. Because a lot of people just remove that part. Because once somebody does object, that's the end of your wedding. You do know that, right? They don't just say that for drama. Like, you see him bold and the beautiful and stuff like that. No. It's actually like, for real, for real, once they say that, it is all over. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Everybody happy. Everybody happy. Everybody yes, together. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Maurice, you may kiss your <laughs> Look at, look at the birds. They're so happy. Oh, it's so cute. Pleasure to present to you. Look at that. First of all, let's look at this for a second. 
So is that her side and then his side? That is not a lot of people, you guys, but that's cute. Those weddings are the best. You don't need people who are envious, people who actually don't want your downfall, people who are, mm -mm, you don't want them, you don't want that energy at your wedding. So this is good. She has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. She literally has like 12 people at her, <laughs> on her side. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. The reason we are all gathered here today, Maurice and Jessica. <laughs> He's even helping her carry the train. Now that is cute, but also where's her maid of honor? <laughs> okay, anyway, the, the, she doesn't have to come here because this is the bride and the groom walking down the thingy. Also, this is not the venue that they looked at the other time. Remember, it's a completely different place, I think. It's beautiful though, very beautiful. Stunning and cute. When I first started talking to Marisa, I didn't think this would happen if they have a no. this big wedding like this, no. Yeah. Did she just say a big wedding? Okay. Hey, look at us. We got a child on the way. Very. Can't nothing come between us. No females, no parents, no sisters, no brothers, no aunties, no cousins, no homies, no nothing. Can't nothing. He had to mention all of them. He declared and he decreed that none of these people <laughs> would be able to come in between. He had to say that. He had to manifest it. Eh? He had to say it so that it becomes reality. Okay? Because there's some hitting bum people out there. Come with me and my wife. We rocking. We solid. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Ooh. Ooh, give me some of that cake. Oh, please give me some of that cake. That cake look good. Oh, my God. Oh, me too, me too. I am so happy and proud of my son and his wife. He found somebody that he really loved and cared for. Mm, this is ruining the makeup thing. Anyway, at this point, you've taken your pictures and you don't care. I, I never quite know why people do that, but okay. <laughs> they happy with each other, so that's wonderful. I sure do wish I knew how that party went down. Like, what music did they play? This is very stereotypical, but still, I want to know. I want to know, like, what, what music did they play? How did, how did they get down? Also, I don't know, but I've realized a lot of times when there's weddings, black folk will have so many kids running about and white folk won't. In fact, I've been to weddings where they've told people to leave their kids at home with the babysitter or something else. Just leave them somewhere. Whatever you do, don't bring them here because they want peace and quiet and they want to have a good, good, good time and they don't want any disturbances. They don't want things falling down. They don't want kids crying and i totally get that but yeah black weddings is like babysitter <laughs> my kid is coming okay whether you like it or yeah, yes. this is what i dreamed and you just sit in that cell you know look up and just look at the pictures I'm like man i can't wait i can't which pictures oh like that can't wait this is what i hope for i think when he was in prison he was looking at pictures up on the ceiling something like that i don't know yeah that's it Oh, but this is so cute. I love seeing people coming together, families coming together. Okay, I'm gonna, really gonna count. I'm gonna be petty, okay. It's about 18 people, 17, 18 people there. It's good enough, you guys. Well, ain't that cute. Everybody happy, everybody hugging. Aw, look at the moms together. This is just a beautiful thing to see. Love to see it, love to see it. I actually almost shed a tear with this one because I thought it was super duper cute. I'm wishing them all the best and their baby as well. And guys, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bomb stomp and sometimes the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Let me try it. God bless.